FM. James Conner with Rick Kaboom and Joe Carr. James, how you doing? Good, it's good to see you. Uh, we were just talking about your numbers last year. They're, they're video game ass. How do you improve on them this year? Um, man, we got the numbers this year. I won a uh, one ball game. The numbers and everything, and the trophies were all great last year. But the Masters got a bad taste in the how to see the game. And how our record show. And so um, I know if I just want to see the start as offseason, I'm going to run harder to my numbers all the way. We're talking with James Conner, running back for the Pitt Panthers and uh, the ACC. You're new to the ACC, so ACC fans may not know a whole lot about you, but just the fact that you were able to burst on the scene, what do you think you can do for the game of college football? I mean, it is great to bring a high intensity and our coach also will help us do that too. Of course, we're going to bring a lot of intensity to the game too. So, we just showed them another, you know, more back. What's the transition been like? Uh, you know, to be midway through your career, then your coach leaves, takes what he said was his dream job uh, with Wisconsin, to go out and now get a, a very highly thought of defensive coach out of Michigan State. What's all that been like to see? You? Uh, it's been a little bit of, you know, a little trouble. You know, some adversity. You know, losing my coach, he gave me my scholarship. You know, but you know, I knew that that was it. But it's cool to learn all these new players, get in building relationships with the new coach who came in. We got Coach Chase who was our office coordinator from Arkansas. We had 2,000 yard running back at Arkansas. From day one, he established a great relationship with me. So he has a great resume. So I'm excited to work with him and our whole we're talking with James Conner, running back for the Pitt Panthers. Uh, and when you say that, the coaching change, Chris was a very quiet, maybe more of a taskmaster kind of guy. What is different from just the overall philosophy? Is is it a more relaxed atmosphere, or is it still uh, uh, Like you said, you are right. Uh, still like the job done. Still uh, very dedicated to the job. Uh, of course, I do it. Uh, a little more fun? Yeah. Not fun. Not yeah. fun. I had a great time with Coach Craig Girl, but he just more, you know, hands on. He's talking about something he's doing different than Drew. He's just, uh, you know, he's a real hyper guy. But, you know, it's been, it's been fun. Uh, yeah. He had consistent top five defense at, at Michigan State, and obviously that's a concern right now overall for Pitt being able to turn things around on that side of the field. Right. So, you know, what better man than him? So, uh, we're very excited. Like I saw off smooth ball. You know, Pitt was in the Big East for a long time. Now in the ACC, it's been a little bit of a nomadic adventure for teams that are way up north that are just now coming in, you and Syracuse. Is it weird for you guys to talk about the ACC as a football team? Do you still feel like there's a little old Big East ties in your Well, uh, 2013 was my freshman year, now was my freshman year. Yeah. So all I know is ACC. I never played a game before. It's so uh, easy for me to talk about, but uh, I'm sure for some of our seniors, the guys who recently uh, graduated, it's so a different day for you to, you know, have a big experience. You're loaded on the offense. You do lose some linemen, and that's huge for you as a, as a tailback. But obviously, your quarterback's back. I, I got to put you and Boyd up. I mean, I'll tell you what, one, two, it's tough to find another combination uh, in the conference that is electrifying as yourself and, and him as a, as a running back wide receiver combo. What are the expectations for this offense? Uh, yeah, like you said, we're going to see this one. This one now with the Vikings. Matt Rodham was the Dream Bay We lost those two guys. Uh, but all that means is I got to step up more for that because those guys are uh, very strong. But yeah, uh, Chad's coming back, Tyler, a phenomenal athlete. Chad is focused on the uh, in general. Uh, I'm focused, so uh, I'm going to off for the next time. When you take a look at your schedule, you open up Youngstown State and Akron, and then you step out of the uh, conference, you take on Iowa, and then it really starts to get heavy duty. Both Tech, Virginia Tech, and Georgia Tech uh, over the span of early October. Uh, 